it's an evolving ecosystem with existing players changing and then even new players coming in and you, you touched on the challenges and opportunities are there any specific challenges and opportunities that are emerging in this evolving environment so maybe i'll lead off from where i left from uh, from the last question um if you look at uh, the oems the biggest challenge for them they they have a disruption if you're a traditional oem there is a disruption happening from all sides one there is a temporary but there is a supply chain disruption as such because of pandemic because of the war because of china plus one and you name it so that's one thing that they are dealing with then there is a tussle between how do i differentiate the product of future which is all software driven which i was not developing uh, traditionally so pulling that work from the tier one company so that is another change but even if they did that they didn't know or i wouldn't say i wouldn't say didn't know i would say they were not doing it they were not doing large volume of software development and hence that's a new area for them to behave differently and they are competing with a company like tesla who primarily positions with a with the uh, with the positions as a software company and then bring some um, um uh, automobile into it so these are some of the challenges that the traditional oem will have to deal with how do they bring maturity into their software development how do they um, keep their tier 1 ecosystem uh, and how do they respond to the native uh, uh, companies um the uh, other part of your question the challenges of moving towards uh, electrification um, and this new architecture in general uh, the, the shortage of talent um, and also infrastructure and you can't just move to electrification you have a car but there is there uh, you need a huge amount of charging infrastructure and ecosystem uh to be able to be uh, successful um and second uh, the manufacturing supply chain is changing so battery today could become a bottleneck right how do you should you be vertically integrated or should you source for the, that battery from somewhere else uh, i maybe i would add one more thing that is uh, a maybe a challenge as as companies move in this direction is all their legacy manufacturing plants were aligned to the ice uh, vehicles now as they move towards more and more electric their manufacturing plants may not be ready or are not the right ones so how do you build out greenfield um, uh, manufacturing plants and the supply chain that caters to the kind of products that you're designing so these are some of the challenges that i see obviously there is a there is a lot of opportunity and and we can talk about them as well